Different types of addictions. First up, short form content. See, short form content has ruined this generation. I mean, TikTok, Reels, Shorts, all of these apps will be the reason why your kid will be homeless at 21. Selling their booty for $15 just to cop that new Jaden Newman OnlyFans. It also makes you horny. And constant brain rot paired with barely legal teens twerking always leads you to losing hours of your day salivating. We're becoming more and more like zombies every single day. Like if Gina Aiko became a zombie, I would for sure let her bite me. But still, that shit terrifying as hell. There was really no reason for me to say that. I just felt like saying. It. But still though, I feel like Gen Z is TikTok's crack. And China's good old Ronald Reagan. Trying to get us addicted so we abandon all responsibility. Including our kids. Also, take a damn shower. Because for some reason, niggas just don't feel the need to do that no more. Number two, sugar. Sugar is absolutely horrible for you, but everybody loves it. Sugar is dead ass like legal crack though. Like, it's crazy. I mean, for how addictive it is and how much we eat it, it's crazy how bad it is for us. Just like crack. Nobody cares because it tastes good. And that's exactly what Big Pharma want. They want people to keep on stuffing their mouths with sugars and candy. But they start having heart failures and diabetes so that they can profit off the American population and continue to rake in more money while also making more money selling insulin. For real though, stay away from sugar. Even though none of y'all are finna listen to me, like this whole section was pointless, bro. Like hell, I'm drinking a Kool Aid right now. It tastes like diabetes. Number three, drugs. Part two. I mean, everyone loves drugs. That's why you're told to stay away from them as a kid. Cause just like Kodak said, I say no drugs. They too good. Y'all don't like me. Go crazy. While he was on a perk. I mean, drugs are a gift from God Himself. It's what the devil wants you to believe. It destroys your life, destroys your family. Hello, destroy your butthole too if you want it bad enough. And the only path that'll lead you down is to destruction. But man, that path will be fun. You'll be having the time of your life doing meth while fucking a random homeless lady. Why were you fucking a random homeless lady? You ask. Well, because you're homeless, dipshit. But if none of this sounds fun, kids don't do drugs. And if I find you on the street, nigga, I'm driving right past you, nigga. I ain't giving you no fucking 20, bitch. Number four, plastic surgery. See, plastic surgery is like getting high top dreads. You think you're doing better for yourself until you get it. Then you truly realize how much worse you made things for yourself. Funny thing, most people who get plastic surgery don't need it either. I mean, look at Starlight. She was okay. I mean, she ain't no 10 out of 10, but she was a solid 7. I mean, she, she she's attractive on a good day. But then she got plastic surgery. Now she looks like this. What were you thinking? Like, this was so unnecessary, bro. You, you, you look straight before. This is what often happens. See, these girls get insecure about a body part they have. Then they want to go and change that. Shit. Not knowing that their bodies were made how they were made for a reason. You know, them BBLs not it either. Like, it is 2024, people. Ice Spice is skinny now, and Kim K turned back into a white woman. Let the BBLs go, bruh. Plus, y'all BBLs be looking like used diapers and old saggy grandma booty anyway. So I don't really get the point. Save the money and go sweat the pounds off like a real woman so I can lick it off. The only surgery that doesn't bother me for some reason is to job stuff and honestly i don't understand why like it's weird maybe it's because i'm more of an ass guy but i feel like more people are ass people now because like let's be real nobody gets hard from looking at titties i mean they're nice to look at right but you're not gonna make my meat dance and tingle by showing me your nipples man they look better just perked up and presentable anyways if we talking about a fat ass fuck. bro all you gotta do is show me a picture of ruby rose doing this splits and my dick will teleport to wherever she's at consensually of course plus most boob jobs do come out looking good anyway so it's not that big of a deal unless you're going overboard with that shit like what are you doing like how's a baby finna drink milk from them things last thing i want to talk about i do understand that not all plastic surgeries go wrong not all of them are bad if you're built like this get the bbl game but it gets to a point where some of y'all old heads just need to know when it's time to let nature take its course mm -hmm. madonna number five talking people talk too damn much feels like addiction like people think just because you got a mouth you should be allowed to give every single opinion you have like no bitch Shut the fuck up. Your opinion doesn't always need to be heard, Becky. People just need to learn there's a time and place to give your opinion. And the time is never. And I feel like that's the main curse of social media. Because yeah, on the good side, you have things like charities and porn and shit. But on the bad side, you're giving people the platform to give their opinion, no matter if it's a good opinion or if it's a fuck brain dead take a lot of these dumbasses nowadays just proceed to give their brain dead takes with sheer fucking confidence matter of fact let's read some tweets 16 year old chicks are hotter than 26 year old chicks my dad just subbed to my only fans and tipped me 100 that is how you support your child's business when i breastfeed my son i used to masturbate at the same time the way he sucked my nipples gave me the best orgasms my blit boy clit so raw and suckable right now so i r worded a bit and she gave me HIV. So now I'm wondering how the hell a 10 year old got HIV. My sister hanging with the wrong crowd for me. Nigga, what the fuck? I wish I could explain to my toddler that ice cream will never fill the empty hole inside of her. Only sex can do that. Who has more dedication, ambition, and drive? Kobe only R worded one girl. LeBron R worded an entire city. One plus for LeBron. It'd be so weird seeing my son Lil Wiener on the hard and he only three. My son think I'm his lady when we sleep. Well, I got my robe on because my son gonna be all on me in a bit. 
it. Huh? Last but not least, imagine if men had to breastfeed babies using their cocks. Yeah, just delete the whole entire platform. Matter of fact, let's just give people a maximum words they can use per day. Every app are gonna get a cool 200. And once that 200 is up, sign language. You better learn crit, nigga. Talking is also addictive when you always think you're right. So from now on, I'm gonna just tell niggas they're wrong. They could be giving me the fucking cure to cancer. Don't care, still telling that nigga that he a dumbass. And also that the word limit is a big brain motherfucker. Number six, food. Put the Big Mac down. Stop ordering the large fry. And for the love of God, Diet Coke doesn't mean it's okay to drink it on a diet. Food should not be as big of an addiction that it is. Especially since half the world are struggling to eat. You don't need a Chipotle bowl in that big ass burrito. Pick or choose big back ass motherfucker. Oh shit, never mind. Shit, how about you try a seven inch burrito? Black version. And most of that food y'all eating is killing y'all anyways. With all that MSG, chemical sugar. Nobody cares about their health anymore, bro. Like I get we're at a time where whippets literal brain rot in a can it's like the new wave and shit bro but like does nobody want to see their grandkids we really just that depressed now nah, we'll get some credit where it's due fast food is designed to make people addicted so we as americans are kind of ho we're still fat but you feel me huh? but let this be known if you're fat and you live in a country like zimbabwe for the love of god stop fucking eating no i should be getting exiled from your village for eating all the goddamn food you bad bad motherfucker punishment should be hanging you up like a piano and beating your stomach with bats until you spit all okay that's a little bit too dark back to america though not not not, not that way have y'all ever watched tlc or my 600 pound life and just saw a motherfucker so fat that you can't help but wonder what went wrong for them to get to that point more importantly how does your family just let you get to that point like do they just not like you like as a parent do you not feel like your job has failed number seven gambling ah oh, the sweet joy of watching men sacrifice their family's home for a game of cards gambling is one of the world's most common addictions but i've never understood why like y'all do realize that these casinos are rigged right like they are designed for you to lose money do y'all just like wasting money or some shit y'all have like kinks or whatever worst part about this gambling shit though is that these online companies try to push it on kids too which is fucked up like damn at least let them date a college girl first they need to experience real pain and heartbreak before the same thing happens with their money. Honestly, I don't feel like things like sports betting is that bad. But when it gets to the point where you're sending death threats and slave terms to these athletes, I think you should just hang up the FanDuel account, buddy. At least before you hang yourself because you bet your whole house on the Giants winning the Super Bowl. Dumbass nigga. Oh, but the payout will be generational. You say as you tighten up the rope around your neck. Number eight, porn. All right, y'all knew this was coming. Sex is the second most addictive thing in America right now. Watching people have sex is number one. But being addicted to watching other people have sex is a crazy concept to think of. I mean, you're getting off to another guy getting pussy that's all that porn is it's basically like you're sitting in the corner of the room in that adam 22 chair just stroking your shit to another nigga stroking a girl you want to fuck like is that not weird as hell to y'all niggas bro like what i say as i do in my daily scrub on maddie up kidding 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 i stopped beating a while ago says every guy ever like as a guy you just can't help yourself it feels so good and it's pushed in front of you everywhere you go i mean you can't even scroll on tiktok without seeing a random thirst trap of a thick white girl bent over doing some random dance in a video that has nothing to do with the dance like you're just trying to show off your ass bro and don't get me started on twitter i don't even use my twitter for going at least not my main account but every single day i go onto the app i always see a random ass hoe spreading her asshole open on the timeline crazy part about it is most of the time they don't even be having only fans they just be doing that shit for the love of the game and then in every single tweet reply section you have the actual professional whores promoting their 15 dollars only fans that you can see for free on any other site on the internet if you just look it's really sad to see how far sex work has come and i guarantee most guys you meet in real life goon every single day number nine vaping nigga get to hell vaping by far is the stupidest addiction i mean you're inhaling blueberry pink bubblegum guava fago flavored air into your lungs for a slight buzz like what what like, i get the purpose i get the idea but like it's the execution that pisses me off like if you want to be a nicotine addict just do zins like a real man them since he has vapes just make no sense to do plus they be hella expensive too especially if you get in one of those high-tech ass vapes with the touch screens and the apple car plays and shit like why the fuck do you need all of that shit in a vape like now i finally realize why y'all be crashing out so much when y'all lose them they be costing a fucking arm and a lung i think the main thing that keeps me away from vapes though is seeing how the addicts act when they don't got that nick supposed to be tweaking out sweating and shit acting like they finna have a dinner with jeffrey dahmer or some shit <laughs> uh jeff i thought i was coming over for dinner we're, we're where is the food? Oh, my bad. Huh. Funny enough, it just arrived. Also, whenever you ask a stoner if they should start smoking, they always say yes while proceeding to pass you the blunt. But whenever you ask a vape fiend, they always give you the most terrified look while begging you not to start. Then they follow up by saying it's the worst decision they ever made and how they wish they could quit. Blah, 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 all that shit. Like, wh why would you start then? Would y'all suck a dick? 
to save your mom's life. Yeah, I actually said that. But if you want to see me say more wild shit, tap into the stream. Also, go tap into the reaction channel. Go cop the merch too. Link in the description. Thank you. Goodbye.